Ladies, gentlemen, my name is Mickey, and today we will be heading to PetSmart where I will find some new pet meat to feed my family. Mickey. <laughs> Do these suckers get any bigger than they are? Uh, a little bit, but not, mu not little much. Bit. Yeah, a little bit taller and a little bit plumper. So the juice won't come out when I'm cooking it, because I got a big family and whatnot, and I got three brothers, Billy, Bob, you know, and Bill. I'm not going to sell you a... Oh, to cook up? Well, no, just because I know that I need to feed my family, and that my daddy always said that you got to get it as fresh as you so can. why would you pay twenty three seventy nine when you can go and get a chicken from somewhere else? Well, that's a good question, but my daddy always said that you want to get it as fresh as possible, because the ones that they have but in the store you have been good. I know these ones aren't too big, and you're not going to get the most out of them, but then I'm also looking at the rats down here. Here. And these little suckers look pretty juicy. I'm not telling you anything about seriously what you are. Well, no, I'm dead serious just because these things are living, right? And they come out a lot healthier and more fresh compared to the stuff that they're selling you in the supermarkets. They're trying to blackmail you with that crap. I'm not going to sell you anything. But did they get any bigger? Because yeah, I could, I could feed it. I'm not selling you anything. I could pay double. Me and my daddy work hard, so I got, I got the cash. It doesn't mean anything. I, I don't want money. I do need to leave with something if I could no. work out a negotiation of some sort. No, you can't leave with any. There's no, there's no way. No other animals in here, or oh, rats. I guess I'll be on my way then. And I'm looking at this one, but this yeah. one kind of looks like King Kong's toenail, to be quite fair. Yeah. Cause I want to beef up my puppy, but I'm yeah. not really sure what would be the best one to really get it, the juices going, yeah. right? What These do you think? Usually pretty, like, there's a lot on them. What's That's the difference between that one and this one? Oh, watch out, you just dropped the toenail. This one's just a bit smaller, but it has okay. more, it's a knuckle, so it's got more. Oh, it's like a knuckle, right? Yeah. These ones got real juice in them. To the, it's yeah. really going to beef them up, right? Probably, yeah. Because I'm trying to get as much fat on this dog as I can because, you know, I got a lot to do. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. I got a big family, right? Yeah, that's probably going to work the best. And how about these beef raw hides? Are these ones all right? Are these like the chips of dog food? or? I don't think they're bad for them. No, not too bad here? a nice treat, yeah. Are they good for the dog? There's a lot of treats around here that yeah, may not be hard. so great for the dog, right? These ones are definitely healthier. Than healthier? On the other side. And these things here, these are more for like a snack kind of thing, right? Yeah, those are for smaller dogs. Yeah, I'm not really looking to, you know, keep it outside. I want to get this thing as big yeah. as I can. I want to create like a, a monster out of this dog, thing. Gotcha. A working dog, because uh, we got a big family, like I said yeah. earlier. Well, no, great. Thank you very much. I really You're appreciate welcome. your time, and I'm going to keep looking around here. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm just a little bit confused here, because I thought that, you know, these things here, because you did say they get pretty big. Oh, yeah. And I do have a very large family. It's up to me to feed my family. Yeah. And I thought I would get this for my dog, because I don't want my dog to know that I'm barbecuing the the lizard right like at the yeah. same time i don't want him to know so i want him to be happy in the meantime and he doesn't smell the lizard while it's cooking yeah. on the barbecue but like do these things taste better on the bbq or the fryer i really hope you're joking like i know according to like hspca and whatever that is yeah. like you you're not allowed to do that yeah. and i understand that the iguanas because they are an endangered species like i do know my That's stuff about dragon, yeah. well I, I do know the dragons are yeah. they are endangered they're pretty bony right they don't have a lot but of they're, meat. they're pets these we don't, we're not selling things for food. These are not food. But sir, you, you gotta understand my situation where like... There's, there's a price mark at the end of this block that has sells food. I have a 2,000 gallon pond in my yard. Is that right? Yeah. And I have koi in there. Do you get any anacondas rolling around in there? No, but I got the raccoons coming. Oh, the raccoons. <laughs> Those ones taste the best. That's that's true. You know, I, I got a lot of... Well, no, the raccoons. Well, I never eat raccoons. Oh, I eat raccoon all the time, especially because those well, things are rodents. coming too. Because it's, it's a double kill, right? You kill the raccoon and you eat the raccoon because they're pests and people don't like them. So you're killing two birds with one stone on that one, Where right? Where are you from, Australia? Well, I'm from Texas. Oh, what? <laughs> My family, my family's got a, a place over in Seattle, so I'm over here. I'm just trying to find something that I can feed to my family around here. I am trying to find some uh, little fishies that I could do feed up, maybe you know, feed to my big piranha back home, because we got big piranha fish that go crazy. Well, I don't know if I'd want that. These fishies are very colorful, that's for sure. They want to feed them to the piranha. Well, I mean, these suckers look pretty good. I promise you, if I could get enough food, I could beef it up to the point where I get it big enough that my whole family, like Billy, Bobby, and my young, younger brother Jess, he eats like a horse. But he could definitely eat that, that's for sure. Is there no is there no chance that I could I, do that or? I don't. We're supposed to sell animals as pets. Are you bringing one out for me? No. Oh, scooping out a dead one. You see a dead one? Can I take that for my family? I'll buy that one for half price if you don't mind. So how big was the koi? Not big enough. Is there any discounts on the half dead ones? <laughs> that one looks pretty dead to me, and I'll be willing to pay at least half price. So is that free scoop on the house here? Oh, yeah, free scoop as well. All right, because I'm trying to beef up my dogs as much as I can. Oh, yeah. I got the two gun bales here because yeah. I got two big golden retrievers. Honestly, like my dogs, if like I always had food down, they would always eat it. Sometimes what I do is I leave a little trail of cocaine just all around oh, the dogs, yeah, and they start them. sniffing, and they go crazy more for more food, just right? love all the food. Yeah, it's great. Mind if I just yeah. put these down for a second? Oh, yeah. Which is because like, my family, like I got one, two, three, four. 
four brothers, yeah. <laughs> one younger sister, and like at the rate my parents are going, like it's about like that in the trailer. Like they just uh, got keep, kids keep pumping out every day. So, you know, I got to keep my dog big because we, you know, we're trying to develop our dogs because they do supply good meat. Oh. Right from the farm for the families, oh, okay. right, kids. So we're doing what we can out there, yeah. which is really important and very vital. Right? Yeah. So what would you recommend to like beef them up? Um, anything that's dehydrated or anything like that that's just protein. Yeah, are these things dehydrated or? Um, they're dried, but I think they're just like bones. Oh. Uh, so yeah. These and things are strong like, though. I know that yeah. my dog can handle these. Yeah, they'll like those a lot. Out of all the breeds, like what is the best meat? Um, not, not quite sure. You know, it should get much juicier and much bigger and... They're usually the size they're going to get by about eight months. Oh really? She's yeah. not going to get much bigger, hey? No. Oh, okay, because I mean, like, I do have a big family, and at the rate my parents are going, we could have a lot of more brothers and sisters. <laughs> She's not the one for a big family. So, like, how much is it starting at right now? $2.25. $2.25 for that little bugger, hey? I'm trying to decide whether or not, like, I need to get this one or, or maybe an older one. For what? Because I, I know that's like, you know, it's kind of like wine to, like, you age it before you cook it. What is that? Oh, sorry, I'm getting taking a call real quick. Hello? Jesse, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm just at the store right now. I'm just be out in two minutes. I'm just grabbing the King Kong earlobe for the dog. Okay, don't get it. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave out the whatever this is. The what is this? The pig in the blanket. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna so. leave out, leave out the pig in the blanket. Thank you. I'm really trying to beef her up. Is this like the beef jerky for dogs or what? This is a jerky. Yeah. Oh my god, I think my dog's a vegetarian too. I thought those were vegetarian snacks. No, there's chicken here. My dog's vegan, so. Yeah, you might you might want to look the like veg, like vegetables. Stuff. Oh really? Yeah. Well, she's, I'm a little bit worried now because like I can't feed her anything and if this is not going to work because I'm really trying to beef her up because like I'm trying to serve her as an appetizer for tomorrow's dinner. Yeah. This one's really big. Okay, well maybe I'll have to rethink it. Should I let him go? Yeah. Can I let him go? You, got, you guys can go ahead. I'm just going to rethink my purchase here. Thank you very much. How long well, have the dog? Well, the dog's only about a couple of years old. What have you been feeding it? We've then? just been feeding it like dog chow, like the regular shit they oh. got going on in aisle 12. Yeah, yeah, that could make him sick. I'm just had a couple questions here about the Russian dwarf. Mm -hmm. um, just because I'm wondering if these things get much bigger. Because right now they look about the size of a peanut, right? Yeah. And do they get much bigger and like meatier and thicker at all? or? No, they just stay the yeah. same size. Well, these little buggers are pretty small though, yeah. right? <laughs> they do stay that size. I'm not sure like how many like do you think it'll take? These guys... They're uh, more like snack size, right? Yeah. We don't actually, like, those guys are like pets, so we don't we don't actually... Oh, these, oh, you're, you're selling, oh. Yeah, these are all Well, pets. I understand yeah. it's like, you know, according to HSPCA or whatever yeah. that bullshit is, it's, a, yeah. you know, according to them, right? You've yeah. got to take care of them, but, you know, these things, they look kind of like snack size, to be fair. I just walked in at the wrong moment. <laughs> it gets to a point where, like, I'm fed up with everyone treating me like shit and, like, my family like shit, and it's time to get my family yeah. what they need and what they deserve. Like, it's life or death when it's at my house, because, like, the way that we get treated by our father is not so great and my mommy like she's like fending for her life we're not allowed to sell them not even these guys up here we're not allowed to but like isn't this the most humane that i could possibly get yeah is there any way that you could get a half off price just because they aren't as big now no because i got stew on at the house and i need something to really add to the flavor, flavor. yeah no we don't do that sorry we don't sell them uh, for, for half price okay i mean it's just because like these things are pretty damn small i mean they don't supply a whole lot right yeah they're not for feeding they're for pets oh Oh, I see. It was just because, like, the way that they're doing it at the superstores is pretty inhumane. I'm surprised that you're not getting more people coming in here. Uh, no, not if they're not for pets. Well, I mean, like, I also bought this. I know it says it's for bulldogs, but, like, do these things eat this crap? No. They're they not eat. carnivores. They don't process meat. Oh, uh, these suckers don't eat meat, too. Goldfish, you can use them as food, but these ones are sold as pets. It's just that little bugger. This looks so good. Yeah, I know. You and me, but we were not allowed to sell them. Like, I mean, to be quite fair, I'm just licking my chops looking at them. Yeah, no, we're, we always Balls. Enjoy the show. Hi. Oh, sorry. Is this the auction for the dogs here? Sorry? Is this the auction here? Or? No, no. This is a, a class. <laughs> oh, it's not the dog. Oh, because I was looking to get an auction because I'm trying to buy a new dog. Oh, this is this is not. This is not. We don't sell dogs here. Oh, it might have been at the other place because I got yeah. a big family. I got to yeah. feed, so I'm trying to find a new dog that I could get. But yeah. it's no worries. I guess I'm at the wrong spot here.